in, 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 in the know. Good evening, everyone. In the know. Tony Reeves. Tony Reeves. Tony Reeves. Tony Reeves. Fire. Following the news in any way, shape, or form. No shortage of things to talk about. What does it mean? What will it bring? Is this a reality we simply have to accept? Welcome back again. As we're finishing up our series, we only have two more discussion topics. And today we're going to talk about the expert information that you received in your package. For those of you who don't realize, there is a possibility that you may have one, two, maybe even three experts that you're hearing. Usually it's a vocational expert and possibly one or two medical experts. If you get a notice of, the, of an expert, one of the things that's nice about it is typically your resume, the resume may or may not be in there, but usually what happens is the name of the individuals in there, um, what their, ex- they may not tell you what the exact expertise is, but if it's a medical doctor, it'll tell, in, it'll literally say in the, um, the notice what medical period of time they're looking to address. So it's important for you to understand that this, they're providing you this information so this way you're not surprised. So when you get a notice in your phone, we talked about this earlier, last week or so, I believe. When we talked about, you might get a notification in there that says you may have an expert present, a medical expert or vocational expert. Look in the file to see uh, who that individual is. The nice part is that almost everything is automated on Google these days, so you can always just type in Google the person's name and get some information about their background. This way you get a better understanding of what they're going to address. Stick around. We're going to talk a little bit more about what this information also provides you uh, with regards to your notice and disability hearing forms. Under the Social Security regulations, representatives are permitted to practice before the administrative agency anywhere in the country, which means that when you're looking for a representative, you can find someone who doesn't necessarily have to be in your state if you're just going before the administrative agency. So it's possible to have an attorney or representative who's from Utah, even though you may be in Georgia. Our office is actually no different. So if you're wondering which states we cover, check this out. Now the tricky part is once you become, once you have to sue the Social Security Administration, under that situation, you want to have an attorney that's representing you in your jurisdiction. So if you have a representative who's in another state and you've gone all the way to the appeals council and you've been denied and you want to sue the Social Security Administration, you make sure you ask that representative whether or not they can sue someone in that particular state. Okay, if you look at the form itself, what it usually will have is the name of the doctor or the name of the expert, their address, and then it'll specifically talk about you're being asked to address this period of time. So if it's a vocational expert, they may say, we may need you to look at the work history for this particular period of time. Um, if it's a medical expert, they may say, we're looking at it from this, the date, usually the date you indicated you became disabled to the present to provide expert testimony about your condition. So trust me when I tell you that this information is very helpful to you. One, so that you have an idea of who's gonna be there, but two, if you hire a representative, you can provide that information to them as well. Make sure you check us out tomorrow. We got one more portion of this bad boy before we roll on to our next topics. Focus, and we're gonna finish this up talking about the step-by-step guide for understanding your disability hearing notice. I wanna thank all of you for engaging in the videos. Make sure you take the opportunity to send me any comments or send me any particular questions that you want me to have addressed here. As you know, this, this show is for you. And so the only way I can make sure that I can provide you some good information is if you provide me some good questions. Keep them coming and right here on Q&A, Social Security Disability Today.